With the advent of novel technologies such as next generation sequencing, molecular screening programs have been set up all over Europe and are enrolling patients. They can be institutional such as uh, Moscato, uh, this was the program at Gustave Rossi in France, or uh, national, so in Belgium we're going to have a program called Precision Belgium, which is a national uh, program, and some of them are transnational. So molecular screening programs uh, can have multiple goals. Uh, one goal is discovery. So you uh, sample patients for uh, biological material and the goal is to discover mechanisms of resistance and the uh, progression of disease. One example is the Tracer X program for non-small cell lung cancer in the UK. Uh, you can also have molecular screening programs with the goal to treat patients. And patients are triaged after screening in either basket trials or umbrella trials. So at ESMO 2018, the Spanish group presented the AGATA which was a molecular screening program for metastatic breast cancer with the goal of treating patients in clinical trials. And myself, I am the co-PI of uh, Aurora. This is a molecular screening program sponsored by the Breast International Group. It is running in uh, 63 sites, 11 European countries, and we have both aspects. So we get biological samples for discovery. We follow the patient longitudinally, but we also provide oncologists with a molecular report so they can use this information to treat their patients. The main objective of molecular screening uh, programs uh, is to uh, present precision medicine to patients. The goal is to improve outcomes and uh, we manage to show that uh, in specific tumor types with specific mutations treated with specific drugs, outcomes are better with targeted therapy compared to standard of care. However, we uh, do not have yet a randomized prospective study comparing a molecular screening program in all disease types to standard of care uh, that showed uh, an improvement in the outcome. So the reasons are multiple. First of all, uh, access to drugs. So we know some of the mutations, but we don't have the specific uh, agents. And the second is the technology, because uh, we have now better technologies. We detect more alterations and some alterations are quite new. So the answer to improvement of outcomes in specific uh, subtypes, yes in the whole population not yet, but the future will be different. I'm a firm believer uh, that molecular screening programs will be universal uh, in the care of cancer patients uh, in the future. We are already moving in approvals to what we call tissue agnostic uh, approvals and new concept of trials such as basket trials. And these will require uh, universal molecular screening programs. Another application are liquid biopsies. So liquid biopsies hold the potential of detecting minimal residual disease. When you can detect minimal residual disease and treat your patient with the right uh, drug, we can have uh, more cures. Finally, I think there's also a role for molecular screening programs in immunotherapy. Because with the discovery of neoepitopes, neoantigens, we can uh, really construct uh, specific uh, vaccines, but we can also have biomarkers that predict uh, benefit and sometimes hyperprogression, which is something that we would like to avoid to our patients. So I hope that in the future uh, and in Europe, molecular screening program will be universal for cancer patients. <music>